Y'all ready for this? Hey guys, welcome to Tree Rack City. My name is Trevor. Today, I am starting my nomadic week off driving over to the Hoover Dam for the first time. I have some plans for this week, but we'll have to just see when we get to it. Before all that, roll intro. Let's go. This is the new campsite I'll be hanging my hat for for the next week. A little dispersed camping near Lake Mead. Look at Lake Mead, that's pretty crazy. actually really cool. They got a vehicle inspection. A vehicle inspection, Yoni. Morning. Morning, how you doing? Good. Any firearms? Uh, no. Any drones? No. Red egg, green side. Thank you. Hoover Dam right here, dude. Dang, I've never seen this. I'm all going over the Hoover Dam! Woo! Look at the bridge! Oh my gosh, that is so crazy right there! Wow! Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you right now how crazy that is. I'm telling you right now, this bridge is a lot more crazy in person than it is in a video. Look at the Hoover Dam! Right there. Wow. This bridge was really busy with tourists getting pictures. But they had some cool little things like this clock that showed Arizona time. Which I think you pass into Arizona right here. And the views were spectacular. So I drove back and forth. Saw some cool classic cars riding around. The river here. And I was just cruising around, just taking in all the views. I don't know what these statue things are, but they were cool looking. And then this building right here caught my interest because it was like copper. It's pretty neat. But I'm telling you right now, you're going to need to come check this place out. This bridge just blew my mind. Decided to take a little walk up to the memorial bridge that we were just looking at from below. I wanted to see it looking downward and it was a very busy bridge indeed. But the views are spectacular so that makes a lot of sense. And there's the Hoover Dam for you. Man it's big but don't forget to look down. Took a little cruise through Boulder City. Finally got the postcards out. Been slacking. 
I decided to hit Raising Cane's for the first time today. I was excited to give this a try. I kept hearing all the hype, so it's time to give it a try. I ordered my food and they called me over like a minute later. It was quick service. The chicken looked crispy. The sauce looked saucy. And it did not disappoint. I just want to say thank you to my grandparents, Ruth and Sharon, for buying this meal for me. So I just ate at Raising Cane's here. That was pretty good. Um, I, I don't know. It might be overrated. I mean, it was good chicken. The sauce tasted pretty good. I'd give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. Good. I'd definitely eat it again. Dude, what's your name, dude? My name is Jeff. You want to be my friend? Come here. Huh. place called the three kids mine i was gonna go paddle boarding but uh super windy and cold so i'm gonna check out this three kids mine should be pretty cool a lot of graffiti maybe do some drone shots let's go check it out i go whatever speed i want yo foreshadowing jk go the speed limit we're almost there it's actually right here it was a short little ride drone died so what huh help me drone freaking died it just dropped it right there whoa don't be dumb dude look at that dude I should have got drone footage of that I oh, only brought one battery but look how deep that hole is dude that's death right there. I ain't about that life. Let's get out of this freaking thing, man. Oh, whose idea was it to climb all the way down that? <clears throat> this place is really neat though. that 
I don't have words for how interesting and cool this place is. Um, if you're around the area, just stop by. Just go for a little walk. Check some things out. It's very neat. I'm going to go over to Sonic for the first time. I've never even eaten at Sonic before. So, I'll go give her a try. I think it'd be kind of interesting. Oh, that's it for me, yeah. Got me a cookie dough shake and a breakfast burrito. Weird combination, but worked good. Today is a paddleboarding day. It's not too windy. We're going to just seize the day. Today is actually Halloween too, so that's kind of fun. I'm going to go paddleboard on Lake Mead. Hopefully find no barrels of bodies. Hopefully. The water looks so blue and beautiful. I am excited to get to the water. Waddles and I were just trying to make some friends with some ducks, but they were not having it. So then we tried a seagull. Seagull, do you want to be my friend? No. After that, just sat around for a while, looked at all the ducks, all the noises. Had a good amount of time on the lake, but time to move on, see what else we can come up with. Look at that, the Ghostbusters. Something strange in your neighborhood. Who you gonna call?
on my way to pick up a package in Boulder City, but then... Well, I think I'm getting pulled over. Yeah, I got this cop following me. Uh, might have been speeding, I'm not sure. All right, here we go. First time being pulled over on a motorcycle. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. All right, we're free. All that trouble for an Amazon package. So I thought I'd cruise around town and I saw a couple cool things along the way in Boulder City. Also found an old antique shop, which I love. So of course I walked through and looked around. These places have a special spot in my heart. You always get to see some cool things too. Interesting day, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. <sighs> oh. Today is Vegas day. I am planning on driving into town. There's this influencer named Keith Lee on TikTok, and he talks about this uh, blueberry chicken sandwich with jalapenos at this place called the Smoke and Fire restaurant. He gave it a 10 out of 10, which is crazy for him. So I'm gonna go give it a shot myself. I hope it's good. After that, I'm just gonna cruise around Vegas, maybe go down the strip look at the sphere so i'm excited without further ado let's get some coffee in and hit the road jack and hopefully we'll come back what happens in vegas stays in vegas i'm gonna try not to get pulled over today slow ride dunna, dunna, take it easy look it i'm going the speed limit see i'm a law-abiding citizen come on Here is the famous smoke and fire restaurant, dude. It's time. I have been so hyped to get this sandwich. You have no idea. And it was completely empty in there. So first one in line, first one out. First impressions pulling out of the bag. It was very pleasing to look at, to say the least. So I dug right into it. <laughs> Love at first bite. So many layers in this sandwich. Jalapenos, blueberries, blueberry sauce. The bun was toasted to perfection. Look at this face here. I don't do that very often. Not gonna lie to you guys. Keith Lee was not lying. This is a 10 out of 10, easily. Sweet and spicy all the way around. Right, what would you recommend? Whoa, look at that. We're on our way to Vegas, baby. First, we gotta hit the fabulous Las Vegas sign, but I ran into an Elvis impersonator. That was interesting. Saw the sign, continued on down the strip here, and there's just things everywhere to look at. <laughs> they totally gonna go party. I really like the Statue of Liberty up there with the roller coaster in the background. That was neat to look at. Getting closer to the sphere, but saw the Ferris wheel here. And when you're up towards the sphere right here, it's a lot bigger than you'd think. And I like how it had a big old eyeball, but then it switched to another eyeball, which was even weirder, but <laughs> it was really neat. But just cruise down the strip, lots of things going on everywhere. Get your reflections, which I like, that was cool. Met a couple guys named Jay and Chris. They were cool. It was an interesting day in Vegas. That's for sure. What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Hi. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you for watching my little week as a nomad. If you guys enjoyed it, smash that like button because it really helps my channel to grow. And we'll see you on the next one. Stay out of trouble.